So, after weeks of working on the Tower of Babel, I can finally, and with a certain amount of satisfaction, say, it is finished. Which leads me nicely on to the next scene I hope to produce, the crucifixion. This scene is arguably the most important scene for Christianity and the world, and it is not without some trepidation that I start work on it. I managed to source a really good model of Jesus on the cross from the a CG Trader, a model website, and it saved me at least a week's worth of modelling and texturing. And also from it, I was able to create the figures for the other two men that are crucified alongside Jesus. I felt that the sign above Jesus on the cross should say more than INRI, the Latin abbreviation for the King of the Jews, and so we made a separate sign with all three versions of the languages that were in the common usage when Jesus was crucified, Latin, Greek and Hebrew, just like it says in the Bible. The biblical narrative also has Mary, the wife of Clopas, Mary Magdalene, Jesus' mother and the disciple John, along with at least four Roman soldiers. So I managed to source three sculpted figures from CG Trader and then spent a couple of days on each, turning them into textured low polygon models that can be imported into the Unreal Engine. I still need to either model uh, or source Roman soldiers from somewhere. Now the location of the crucifixion is described as the place of the skull, Golgotha, and is thought by some to be on top of a hill type formation with a skull-like feature. Although I realise that others believe it is at the, is it the site of the Holy Sepulchre, who knows for sure. Personally, I like the idea of the skull-like feature as it is mentioned in the Gospels, and I wanted to create something that would represent this. I found a digitally scanned cliff face that worked quite well, and after some fixing up, I was able to produce something that looked pretty convincing. It still needs some work, but it's a good start. I started in the Unreal Engine by adding this cliff and then sculpting a terrain around it, adding rocks to fill in the holes. Next, I imported the crosses from Blender and the other figures and placed them on the top of this hill. The next step is to add surrounding features like hills and buildings, and of course, work on the terrain to make it look a little bit more authentic. I want to thank those of you who have taken the step to support me in this work and that I think we can feel proud that we are helping to put together a library for all people to benefit from now and in the future. So thanks for tuning in and God bless you all.